Hello everybody, um, I'm going to be showing you, um, a city a tweak. I've just started to, um, do some more videos, and I'm going to be showing you this, um, tweak. It's like a theme. It's called Next Gen UI. And you see, it's completely different. Like, completely. This is, this is the home screen. So, um, first off. To get this, you just need to go to um, Cydia. I don't have Cydia at my dock yet, so I'll just show you how to get that. So you press and hold, and then let go. Go to App, and then you'll need to find Cydia, which is right here. And then tap on it. It loads, and then you'll have Cydia opened up. Then it'll do all its stuff at the top. And this is um three dollars. Um the free repos when you get it it says you cannot use it because it's pirated and copied. So you wanna you look up next gen UI. And then click on the one with the tweak icon, the yellow tweak icon. And it is three dollars. I I purchased it. And it's for iOS 6 and 7, compatible with iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5S, and iPod Touch 4th and 5th generation. So once you get this, we're just going to get out of that. It, it, it should be in a repo that you already have, but um, yeah, it should be in a repo that you already have because it's a, it should be in the Big Boss repo. But, um, you might have to look up and add some, because it, it changes all the time. So, um, this is a, one of the great themes. It's a dream board theme. So, if you, if I add dream board, because I don't have that yet. So you hold, app, and then if I can find dream board, dream board, it's right here. You don't have to use Dreamboard on it. Well, I don't need to. See, it takes a while to load because it look it takes up so much RAM. See, I only have 299 free memory, bottom right corner. Um, but uh oh, I think it froze. Okay, um, let me just close that out. Let me just close all this out. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, um, it's a pretty cool thing. So, when you get it, you need to go to settings. Wait, let me turn off adhesive touch. Um, you go to settings, then you go down to their um, tweaks thing, and then you go to the next gen UI, and you have an enable animations, the status bar. So, if I turn that on, wait, I won't turn that on. It just It just makes it so the time is at the top. Like the time, like it, it's in a cool font, and then the override settings. Um, if you're having trouble with like changing the colors, that's what you need to do. So when you download it, you need to go to settings and enable it, and then you need to respring. So I have a tweak that I can just press this and it'll ring spring. I'm not gonna tap it again because I don't want to, and I have all that. But um, yeah, once you do that, you should open it back up and it should come to this. So to to look at all your applications, you click on the middle part, and it shows all your applications. To search them, you just press the little magnifying glass, and uh, yeah, and then it has these connector lines if you put them close to each other. So you can make like different um, like these are all my games, and these are all my like social media. This is just like things I use the most, and this is. City uh, and jailbreak related things. So, um, it's a pretty nice thing. The animations, like, enable animation, it makes, like, this part move around and stuff. Just, just don't get the, don't get free versions of it. It's three dollars. It's not very much. The, the people that made this put hard work into it. But, 
Um, if you do get the free run, it's probably not going to work because it says it, you need to pay for this because you got it off like the wrong repo or something. But yeah, it's a pretty cool theme. Oh, and I'll show you how to change colors. So you tap and hold right in this middle. And uh, you can just change the colors. I'm not going to because then you'll have to respring. But um, you can change the colors to anything. I don't know what this legacy and prayer praxis is or whatever that means. Um, and then you can click it right back to default and respring when you are done changing it. But this is um, next gen UI. Um, get it in Cydia, and if you haven't jailbroken your device, I'll keep a link to how to in the description. Um, I that's not it's not going to be my video, but it's going to be somebody else's video that um, that had a really good tutorial, and I thought so. So um, thanks for watching, and this is Next Gen UI. Um, please like, subscribe, and if you want to see more, thank you.